what is happening Wolfpack and yes I can finally say Wolfpack now because I woke up this morning and I had four new subscribers and I got one after I got home from work so now I have six subscribers and the first person to comment on one of my videos was I hope you don't mind giving me giving you a shout out but King Gunman commented and asked me to react to a video. So I commented on him back, told him to thank him for enjoying my content. And if you're watching this, then thank you for subscribing and becoming part of this positive community. And I'm going to react to the video that you requested, which is I just sued the school system. Let's see what this is about. Albert Einstein once said, everybody's a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today on trial we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does he make fish climb trees, but also makes them climb down and do a 10 mile run. Tell me school, are you proud of the things you've done? Turning millions of people into robots, do you find that fun? Do you realize how many kids relate to that fish swimming upstream in class, never finding their gifts, thinking they are stupid, believing they are useless? Well, the time has come. No more excuses. I call school to the stand and accuse him of killing creativity, individuality, and being intellectually abusive. He's an ancient institution that has outlived his usage. So, Your Honor, this concludes my opening statement. And if I may present the evidence of my case, I will prove it. Proceed. Exhibit A. Here's a modern-day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today. And here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today. And here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now, ain't that a shame? In literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare students for the future? But with evidence like that, I must ask, do you prepare students for the future or the past? I did a background check on you and let the record show that you were made to train people to work in factories, which explains why you put students in straight rows, nice and neat, tell them sit still, raise your hand if you want to speak, give them a short break to eat, and for eight hours a day, tell them what to think. Oh, and make them compete to get an A. A letter which determines product quality, hence grade A of meat. I get it. Back then, times were different. We all have a past. I myself am no Gandhi. But today, we don't need to make robot zombies. The world has progressed. And now we need people who think creatively, innovatively, critically, independently with the ability to connect. See, every scientist will tell you that no two brains are the same. And every parent with two or more children will confirm that claim. So please explain why you treat students like cookie cutter frames or snapback hats giving them this one-size-fits-all crap. Watch your language. Sorry, Your Honor, but if a doctor prescribed the exact same medicine to all of his patients, the results would be tragic. So many people would get sick, yet when it comes to school, this is exactly what happens, this educational malpractice where one teacher stands in front of 20 kids, each one having different strengths, different needs, different gifts, different dreams, and you teach the same thing the same way? That's horrific. Ladies and gentlemen, the defendant should not be acquitted. This may be one of the worst criminal offenses ever to be committed. And let's mention the way you treat your employees. Objection. Overruled. I want to hear this. It's a shame. I mean, teachers have the most important job on the planet, yet they're underpaid? No wonder so many students are short-changed. Let's be honest. Teachers should earn just as much as doctors because a doctor can do heart surgery and save the life of a kid but a great teacher can reach the heart of that kid and allow him to truly live. See, teachers are heroes that often get blamed, but they're not the problem. They work in a system without many options or rights. Curriculums are created by policymakers, most of which have never taught a day in their life. Just obsessed with standardized tests. They think bubbling in a multiple choice question will determine success. 
That's outlandish. In fact, these tests are too crude to be used and should be abandoned, but don't take my word for it. Take Frederick J. Kelly, the man who invented standardized testing, who said, and I quote, these tests are too crude to be used and should be abandoned. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if we continue down this road, the results will be lethal. I don't have much faith in school, but I do have faith in people. And if we can customize health care, cars, and Facebook pages, then it is our duty to do the same for education, to upgrade it, change it, do away with school spirit, because that's useless. Unless we're working to bring the spirit out of each and every student, that should be our task. No more common core. Instead, let's reach the core of every heart in every class. Sure, math is important, but no more than art or dance. Let's give every gift an equal chance. I know this sounds like a dream, but countries like Finland are doing impressive things. They have shorter school days. Teachers make a decent wage. Homework is non-existent, and they focus on collaboration instead of competition. But here's the kicker, boys and girls. Their educational system outperforms every other country in the world. Other places like Singapore are succeeding rapidly. Schools like Montessori, programs like Khan Academy, there is no single solution. But let's get moving. Because while students may be 20% of our population, they are 100% of our future. So let's attend to their dreams. And there's no telling what we can achieve. This is a world in which I believe. A world where fish are no longer forced to climb trees. I rest my case. Hey guys, my name is Prince EA and I want to say thank you so much for watching my video. But now, I want to know what you think. How can we together create a more efficient, effective, and just better future of learning. I want you to visit nestday.com slash pre-order the future and share your thoughts and ideas on the topic. Peace. Okay. First, King Gunman, thank you for telling me to react to this video because it really spoke to me and I'm gonna talk for a little bit about this because one thing you should know about me is I like to talk so sometimes at the reactions I'll like ramble on a little bit get my thoughts and opinions about the video so that's what I'm gonna do so you know first I want to talk about how teachers are really unappreciated in underpaid you know because they deal with kids eight hours a day and they have to grade all their um work and quizzes and tests and they're just sitting there you know at a desk and you know they don't get paid enough for that teachers only make about 25 to 30 thousand a year you know I think and yeah I really don't think that's enough pay for what they do and you know some of these teachers really try to connect with these kids but you know how in the way school is nowadays it's like they don't want that they don't want teacher student connections but I think that's what school needs is for teachers to be able to bond with their students you know and the world we live in today doesn't want that happening and yeah they really are unappreciated and underpaid and I really think both those things should be fixed and the thing he was they were discussing about um you know we go to school for 12 years and we get out and it's like we weren't taught anything like we don't get taught how to do taxes uh, what else uh, taxes you know how to finance and I think budgeting is somewhere in there but you know it's like we don't know how to go out in the world 
and do our taxes, but we know the cells on a leaf. So it's like, that's not even important. That's not relevant to anything unless you're going to be a naturologist or whatever you would call it. But yeah. So I think the system still use some fixing. I mean, we did just get the 10 point. Well, in South Carolina, where I'm at, we just got the 10 point grade scale. So, like, a 93 used to, a I used to be a 93, but now, like, it's by 10 points instead of 7 points. So now you can get, you can have a 90 and have an A, then have an 80 and have a B, a C, 70, and so forth. So, I mean, in my opinion, I like that, but then I still don't think it's fair that, like, people could pass with a 69 when that should be, like, failing. Like, I think it's good for the people who do good, but for the people who do bad, you know, it just lets them think that it's even less important for them to do good because they, have, they don't have to have this high score to get this grade anymore. They could have this lesser score and still get the same grade, you know? So, I mean, I think the system could just use some fixing overall with teacher pay, uh, what we get taught and staff like custodians and stuff man they do the most and they definitely don't get pay worth what they should and um yeah especially cleaning the bathrooms because let me tell you boys are gross. And I'm telling you that as a boy myself. Well, a young man, but a boy at heart. And yeah, we're gross. And custodians do not get paid enough to clean up the stuff they have to. I walk into a stall and I'm like, do you know how to, do you know how to flush a toilet? Do you know there's toilet paper right here? Clearly you don't. So, teacher salary, staff custodian salary, you know, and where I'm at, they just want the best for us, you know. They just want us to have a safe environment learning environment to go to and some of it's the students definitely take advantage of that they don't see that that's what um principal and the teachers and staff is trying to do for them you know and yeah that's my thoughts on this whole thing and it was a great video because it pointed out some major issues with school system so thank you once again king gunman for subscribing to me and commenting because my videos get good views you know like i'm looking at the views and one I uploaded yesterday in a day it has over 110 views the vine compilation i meant the uh dank memes compilation which I think I'm going to do another one tomorrow because you guys liked it so much. So I'm seeing I'm getting views, but nobody's commenting or subscribing. And yeah, I mean, it's whatever. As long as I see that people are watching my content and enjoying it, that makes me happy. Okay. So... Yeah.
that's enough rambling for me and those are my thoughts on the video and the school system let me know your thoughts down in the comments please comment because now that I have subscribers who I hope will be commenting I will be very active in the comment section so yeah post your comments down below of what you thought of my reaction and what you want to see me react to next social media is down below in the description box if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe and share it if you do not then that is a-okay a lot of the times when I say like subscribe and share or else Usually whatever I say is just me just joking around, but my real answer whenever I say whatever I say is it's okay, you know. I'm just asking you to if you want to, but you don't have to. So, yeah. My name's Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. Hope you all have a marvelous day. I, I did too early. Hope you all have a marvelous day. And stay mad.